Hey guys, Will, Flawless Crested Geckos, checking in with you guys. Um, gonna give you this awesome Hot Tip Tuesday video. Um, again, we're trying to respond and interact with you guys. Keep throwing the comments down below. Share our content, share our videos. We're, we're non-stop with this. We won't be stopping anytime soon, if at all. We're gonna keep bringing you this hot content, in our eyes, hot content. Um, the question we were getting after we made our post the other week, because we get this week is twelve thousand, but we get a <laughs> a good hefty amount of crickets every single week. So we'll go through. I don't know. This whole thing will take me about by myself about seven hours. Uh, if Audra if Audra was here and knock off a couple hours, you know, you would think you would cut it in half, but you know, she's cutting corners. But don't tell her. Um, but seriously, we got a lot of questions um, of genuine, I mean, concern, uh, which was good, as far as how do we go about our feeding and oh, we take all day. No, we've been doing it for so long now um, that we constantly, when we do something, we think about how can we possibly make it better. Um, and what I mean by better, always going to be better for the geckos, but how can we be the most efficient with our time? So that being said, we have a few little simple tools. One I'm holding, we order these online, Amazon, we have a bunch of them. Um, they're awesome. They come in handy all the time. Um, and then our regular goods, our calcium plus by Rapashi Superfood. And our gecko diet, the only thing I didn't want to grab is I got a huge bag of um, gut load. Um, it's gut load for the crickets. We normally pour that out uh, into this box. i actually show you a little bit. But we're going to get started because we're not going to make the video too long for you guys. But this is how we do it. We have our large shipment order. We get a good little workout with that one. It's all taped up. It's all secure. No roaming cricket, crickets anywhere. Strip it on down, on this side. Be back in frame in one minute. All right, pick all the rest to the side, boom. Got the first box, it's ready to roll. So what I do before I open this box, simple tool, painter's tape. All I do, I prep myself. It's like a science for us, we already done did this so many times. Every new box we open, we do the same thing. Rip the tape. Take a half, stick it somewhere. If Aldra's here, I stick him on the forehead. Um, then we come over here and the way the box is made. So this is how the box is made. Vents on the side so they can breathe. It is 4,000 half inch in this one. So this is for the baby babies. We give the half inch to the baby, either three eighths or half inch to the babies. Then everything else gets full size. But up here, what you see, that's not the box you see. That's actually a hole covered with a piece of cardboard. Um, love Gans to death. We've ordered from Gans so much. Again, we have a standard order with them that um, we had to figure it out to a science for us to make it easy. So. It's 4,000 crickets in this one box. You wonder, what in the world are you about to do? What container are you gonna put them in? Like, how does this work? Nope, no container, nothing. We feed these guys off every single week. So, I slit just the paper for that corner. The seal in that corner is paper tape. And then the tape, the seal in the box. You half cut it. After you half cut it, Come across to the other side, up here on the edge, and you do another half cut. All right. After you do that, it's gonna be a little loud. Do the little shake them off, shake them off. What I'm doing, I'm trying to shake them off the lid, especially these guys are smaller. But have a few. You always gonna have some jump out. Always, it never fails. It failed this time. All right, so when you open your box, it looks like this. And that's perfect. So for here, the smaller ones, 
Okay. It's easy for this. I reach in there, the same tool that I feed with, and I take the little lid off because it'll plug the hole when you go to get them out. All right, then give me one second. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and measure it out. I normally put right at a quarter of a cup of breeding formula mixed with a quarter, almost an eighth of a cup of gut load um, and one scoop, if not that, maybe a half a scoop of the calcium. Mix it all in there and then I pour it in this hole. After I pour it in that hole, all I do, close it back up. Close it back up. Boom. 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 Close it up. Sit it over to the side. I'm not going to do it over and over and over again. I'm going to do it to the other six boxes. The other six boxes have, um, I think it's one, two of them have, I think, 2,000. And then the other four has a um, thousand each. But I'm gonna do the same exact thing to each box. Tape it up, leave it in there. Now that's how I start off feeding day. What do I do next? I either start cleaning, you know, tubs that's around that need to be cleaned, or I'll go sit down and watch a movie, jump on YouTube, respond to you guys' comments on Facebook and Instagram. Um, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you comment down below, or I'll, you know, just watch TV um, I'll leave it like that for about two hours two to three hours or if we have something to do I may leave it upwards to four hours maybe five um, that is not counted in the time that it takes me to feed so I normally come down here really 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 early in the morning set these guys up that way and that's how we gut load um, from that point I can actually simulate what we do next um, since I'm gonna leave these guys to get gut load in a second uh, from there, we literally just take the box the same exact way, bang on it. You want to always make sure that you get them off the top, off that lid, because they are, you know, they're crickets. For the full size crickets, they normally come with um, potatoes inside, like a single quarter cut of potato inside. All we do is we use the same tweezers, reach down in there, we take the potato out. That's what they ship it with for moisture and food for the full size. And then we um, just discard that. Because again, we go through all these crickets today. So after they just sat here three to five hours, now it's time to feed, get down to business. We, now we have some of these. Then I open it up. Again, I'm not gonna do it now. We have two cups here really more than that but these we always differentiate the two the shorter one is for the half inch the tall one that's inside is for the full size only thing that's in here is calcium now we're gonna do our calcium dusting the other calcium we mixed it with the gut load for them to eat on and feed on in the box so they can gut load so we'll take the appropriate cup and basically I'll do the same thing I'll play the what they call it the the, the tamarind whatever you call that where you said that you bounce the box hit the box start hitting that your favorite beats your favorite tunes you shake it all down in that one corner I'm not going to do it now because that's not what I'm not going to feed them yet shake them down in that one corner where the hole is bang on the top to get them off the lid but concentrate it in that corner flip open the top I don't have the most necessarily largest hand so it works for me we grab the corner of it literally Grab the cup, whichever cup that's appropriate. Again, this is two cups, so we separate these two. This is the half inch. I will grab the smaller cup, flip it upside down, and start dumping them into the cup. Dumping them, dumping them, dumping them into the cup. They come falling out, falling out, falling out. You will not get them all out the first time around. So you get them out, get as many as you need the first go around. Then you close the lid back on it and you tape it up. Because you'll be revisiting this box after you empty out your cup feeding. Um, so we just retape it with the same tape. Sit it to the side and go feed. Um, we actually use lids, they're perforated lids, so they got holes in the top so the crickets can, can breathe and they won't smother themselves um, while we going around feeding. So we can try to at least keep the number of crickets from free ranging the facility. <laughs> Um, 
that's pretty much it. Uh, we after we empty that out, we go back to it. We do the same routine until we can get 98% of the crickets out of that box. After we get 98% of the crickets out of that box, we still tape it back up because there's still a few crickets jumping around in there that will get out in just free range. We tape it back up and we put that to the side to tape to the landfill because now it's waste. That box is done. You move on to the next box, the next box, the next box, the next box as we motor on along and it goes super fast. Um, very convenient, very efficient on our time, um, very efficient on the funds that's, that's invested into it. No special gear, nothing really needed. And boom, you feed off 12,000 crickets just like that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Again, comment down below. Uh, let us know what else you want to know, what else you want to learn. This is not the only way. This is just a way that we choose to do it. Um, it's just been very beneficial for us. We're very open-minded um, and we want to keep learning just like everyone else. But we figured we knew, so we wanted to share with you guys. Um, follow, subscribe, comment. Uh, check us out on Patreon. Uh, you really, really want to become a Patreon member um, with us and become, join the Flawless family. A couple, I guess uh, last week probably, when you guys see this video, um, we just gave away a lily white. I believe it was seven members on Patreon at that time. Free shipping. You literally just open up, holy crap, I want a lily white. Boom, we send it to you. It's yours. What you lose, you pay $50 a month to yourself. And we pay your processing fees. It's a win-win. You get your own very flawless crested gecko savings account. You too may be the next gecko winner, bag winner, shirt winner, lily winner, trip winner, who knows? But check you guys later. Appreciate you. We love you. We're out.